Lucy, is that you? Hey, did anyone else just hear that voice? It sounded super creepy. This sort of battle taking place here? I wonder who could be involved.
No. If you're still alive, why would you become like this? I won't attack you. That sounds like Shu. Can he be in trouble? Whoa, sounds like someone forgot to invite us to the fight. Let's go and help him. Yeah, but how are we going to find him? Little dude called Shao down there? We gotta help him. Hold on. 
Something's not right here. What's this? It appears to be a small fissure. What can you possibly find inside? It can't be a living person, can it? <laughs> <gasps> Conqueror of demons? Xiao, is that you? Uh, oh, I quit trying to scare us, okay? Huh? Wait, is this some kind of illusion? Paimon can't touch him! Conqueror of demons, can you hear us? Hello! Little dude! Anyone home? He isn't responding. What's going on here? You. Oh, he finally said something! Oh! We followed your voice and found you here, but it's kind of strange. We can't touch you. How did you become an illusion? <sighs> an illusion? Talk about a coincidence. We were just thinking you went missing and stuff, and then we heard the sound of you fighting. Pretty lucky we found you, if you ask me. <laughs> you didn't get hurt, did you? A coincidence? Wait. Something's not right. <laughs> Something's wrong with this domain. Leave now! Get out of there! If he can, we should have him regroup with us as soon as possible. Tell us what happened and where you are now. We'll come find you immediately. No. Your safety is the top priority. It seems this space can... Huh? He disappeared. Where'd he go? It sounded like he might be injured. We need to go help him. It seems the only option we have to explore any further is through that entrance over there. Huh. He's injured and telling us to be careful? It's not like we're in any danger here. Anyway, the secret behind whatever's going on should be in this cave, right? Don't worry, little dude. Ito's on the way! Boss, please don't go charging ahead. You're an Oni, not some hunting dog. Don't worry! I'm invincible! Oh, my butt! <sighs> Looks pretty deep. Be careful, everyone. You can cry if it hurts. I promise I'll try not to laugh. What? What do you mean, try not to laugh? You should be feeling some serious sympathy for me right now. But wouldn't feeling sorry for you be a violation of your dignity? Besides, it's harder not to laugh when I'm not the one in pain. Okay, everybody. If you want to laugh at him, just let it out. Don't you have a heart, Shinobu? Oh, and people think I'm the monster. Wait a second. Shao's not here, but... Seems a little out of place here, don't you think? Maybe it's some sort of... I don't know, an emergency shelter? There was a picture book I read once that said nice people sometimes build cabins in dangerous places so that anyone in trouble can take shelter inside. Our little dude must be inside then. Yeah! I wouldn't be too sure about that. Any person with a normal sense of danger wouldn't be so optimistic. Wow, Bullchucker! Looks like your subordinate is telling you what's what. Oh, I believe she was talking to both of us, yeah. So you can wipe that smug smile off your face. Alright, watch and learn, Shinobu. This is why I'm the boss and you're the deputy. If no one is macho enough to open the door, then allow me. Step aside. Once this door is open, we are out of here.
Evaloni, be gone! You heard me! Get out of here! Uh, am I seeing things? Or was there someone behind the door? Nah, can't be. You're just saying things. Why don't we just open the door again and see? Who? Uh, me? Oh, uh, uh, all right, uh, I'll open it again. All you do is goof around all day. You're a bad influence to our child. Be gone! <laughs> Those people are carrying bowls. Bowls full of beans. What's that all about? People throw beans to drive out Oni. Boss is an Oni, so they throw beans at him to get rid of him. Gave me the fright of my life! What are people from Inazuma doing in a place like this anyway? <laughs> Calm down now. You're a person from Inazuma too, you know. Hey, let's get one thing straight, alright? I'm not a person, I'm an Oni! Right, but that's not the point. The question is, does this door lead to Inazuma? Huh? How could that be possible? Ugh, oh, this place is so weird! Paimon's starting to think it really is haunted! You guys go right ahead. I'm not opening it again. So, who's up? Oh, how about Paimon? Why don't you open it? No way! Somebody else do it! Paimon's scared! <sighs> Alright, I'll try. That's our Shinobu! Now, don't let whoever's behind that door push you around, okay? All right, let's see what's behind the door this time. Still reading, Shinobu. Listen, young lady, you should keep your nose out of those books and start taking my advice. I've already found you a perfectly good job as a shrine maiden at the Grand Narukami Shrine. You'll be far better off there than... <laughs> uh, Shinobu? Who is that? No way! Was that who I think it was? Oh, this is embarrassing. That voice was my mother. This is one place I wasn't counting on having to hear that speech again. Your mother wanted you to become a Shrine Maiden? The whole reason I came to study in Liyue was because I didn't want to become a Shrine Maiden. My family never approved of my studies, so they wanted me to work in the Grand Narukami Shrine after I returned to Inazuma. From what we know about Lady Guji, it seems being a Shrine Maiden is a pretty cushy job. <sighs> Think of it this way. Some cats can be domesticated and kept in the house, while other cats are meant to survive in the wild. As for me, I need complete freedom and space. Although I do admit that being a Shrine Maiden is a decent job, it's just not for me. That's right, your calling is with the gang. I mean, just look at you! You rock! You're totally hardcore! Come on, am I the only one with chills right now? It's true. You've got a good thing going. What's most important is that you enjoy what you do. Gotta agree with you there. From the look of it, what's behind the door can change. And not only that, it always changes to something that nobody wants to see. So, uh, how are we gonna get through that? And don't forget, we have that little dude waiting for us to save him. We need to get our rear in gear. Would any of you like to give it a try? Mm, no thanks. I'd prefer not to open it if only something terrible awaits. If anyone's going to find a way through, it's not going to be me. Uh, why? Because I don't buy it, that's why. I don't believe for one second that we're gonna find the Conqueror of Demons by going through that door. So I'm sure as heck not gonna be the one to get us through. Not gonna lie, uh, you don't really sound like you have much of an imagination. Alright, I'll try. Yeah, my savior, show him what you're made of! I'm sure I probably do, but nothing springs to mind right now. Anyway... I suppose I'll find out once I open the door. You old geezer. Out of eight pounds of salt, today you gave away three for free, sold two, and exchanged three for booze. How much money did you actually make in the end? Huh? But didn't you tell me to sell things as I pleased? 
Why can't I give the customers something for free? You fool! You told the old man next door to come and fetch the salt. Well, he broke his leg on the way over, and now his son is asking for compensation. Seriously. Huh. Ah! <laughs> A civil dispute. Didn't see that coming. Who are they? <sighs> no one in particular, but it is a prime example of the many difficult civil cases that I've had trouble handling before. Hmm. So you mean you don't like handling disputes over petty matters? Not exactly. What I mean is that I don't like working with people who cannot let go of trivial grievances, especially of the kind you saw just now. They start with good intentions, but end up making a big fuss. It's not long before those good intentions plunge into injury and accidents. <sighs> it's always a shame. It's my desire to solve problems for people. That's why I became a legal advisor. It just seems that I still can't fully comprehend the complicated minds of some people. <sighs> I understand what you mean. The human mind is probably both the most complicated and tragic of things. I suppose there is no need to discuss this any further. <laughs> Does anyone else want to try the door? Don't look at me. I told you, I'm not taking a chance with that thing. Come on, Yelon. We're a team here. If you're not gonna try, then at least give us a convincing reason why. <sighs> In that case, let me be perfectly clear. I serve Ningguang, the Tianxuan of the Qixing. The scope of my work includes some of Liyue's biggest secrets. The chances are, if I open this door, there can be no witnesses left alive. Is that a sufficient reason for you? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sounds, sounds impressive. Um, hey, Shinobu, uh, who's Ningguang? She's someone who won't let you walk out of the chasm alive if she finds out that you're prying into her secrets. Boss, you really do need to work on learning who's who in the world these days. Look, I knows what I needs to knows. It's called being a free Oni. Oh, now Paimon gets it. Yelan works for Ningguang. <laughs> yes, which is precisely why I was trying to keep her secret. <laughs> we should avoid letting Yelan open this door. What about you, Traveler? Would you like to try? Yeah, go for it, Traveler. Besides, you never know who could be behind that door. Maybe it could even be Shell. I say give it a shot. Who knows? Maybe little dude is waiting for us on the other side. <laughs>